What is happening everyone? Welcome to the latest video in the unboxing series. Now today we kind of have a twofer because out of sheer luck I have received some posters from two different people both within the United Kingdom. So right off the bat I want to give a huge thank you to both of them because I know international postage is not exactly cheap at the moment. Uh, so for these two guys to send this stuff to me here in the U.S. from the U.K., big thank you. And it, there are two kind of niche, under-the-radar, lesser-known things. So I figured to do an unboxing video and we'll spotlight both of them. Because I really do like the United Kingdom. First up, I need to give a shout-out to Nick Hogg, the gentleman you see right here. In a picture I can only describe as, this should be the album cover of every album this man ever releases. Now Nick is the mastermind behind a rock project called Nitrate, which had the debut release Real World in 2018 and a year later a follow-up called Open Wide. Those were both in the stage where Nitrate was very much a project band with fluctuating lineups, including a change of lead singer across each album. It wasn't until the third album, Renegade, where they kind of settled into their uh, template now with Alexander Strandall from the band Work of Art as the lead singer. In 2023, the long-awaited follow-up Feel the Heat finally came out, with the fifth album currently in production as we speak. You know, my favorite Nitrate album is definitely a toss-up between Renegade and Feel the Heat, because I think Renegade has the best production sound, it's got the most crisp, big sound quality, but I think Feel the Heat has the best songs with the best arrangements. And Nick has been no stranger to merchandising Nitrate, as he's gotten everything from t-shirts, vinyl records, audio cassette tapes, mini discs, skateboards, and I think he's even currently working on a Kickstarter to get some action figures made of the album cover models. So, he's a man that knows merchandising. And speaking of merchandising, that's what brings us here today, because given the cinematic nature of Nitrate, he made some uh, posters, which are very much supposed to look like movie posters, as if Nitrate was a film. So, let's... Take a look and see what we got. Three. All right. Well, first and foremost, we have this majestic little signed photograph here of Mr. Nick Hogg himself. Thank you very much. I will use this picture as my Tinder photo to meet maximum women. All right, and then getting into the three posters here, we've got a little mini poster here signed, I think, by every member of the band, Sans Alexander Strandall, of Feel the Heat. So you see they took the album cover there, got all the artists on there as if it's a movie poster. Beautiful. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, and then we've got these two larger posters here, which are very glossy, very high quality. These are not cheap poster prints. This is legitimate and I'm not doing anything with these until I can get a frame for them so let's see All right, this appears to be Renegade same deal but really glossy finish on that that is awesome the original Renegade artwork made by Nello Del Omo out of Italy wonderful graphic designer so yeah there we go Renegade and by process of elimination I can only assume this one is the orange glow of Feel the heat. Lovely. Like I said, Nick is a great guy. All four of the Nitrate albums, wonderful, good, classic style, melodic rock. So definitely give him your support. If you need a board cover, if you want an action figure, if you want a mini disc, uh, he's got you covered on all that from all the previous albums. Uh, so, shout out to you, Mr. Hogg. Duck! Where? Ah. And secondly, from the UK, there is a bonkers horror movie that I go back with quite a few years called Funny Man. It is a very underknown, at least here in the US, 
horror comedy directed by Simon Sprackling, starring Tim James, and it is just a fever dream of British theatrics, horror comedy hijinks. It is a film that is just all over the place. And I recently made an announcement that I was a guest on the VH Us podcast to discuss the film Funny Man with the host, Dirk Marshall. So if you want to listen to that, it is season 15, episode 3, anywhere podcasts are streamed, or you could go to www.vh-us.com. Listen to that episode and listen to the whole 15th season because Dirk is a great guy. But following that, I got in touch with writer-director Simon Sprackling, who uh, he wrote and directed the film. He's done a couple other things since then, including a mockumentary comedy I was fortunate to get to watch called Poison Arrows, which is a mockumentary comedy about a fallen, drunken darts superstar from the UK named Rocky Goldfingers. And the film featured cameos and appearances by a bunch of actual world-famous British dart players. Some of it was filmed at the actual dart championship since 2003. So it's an interesting backstory. But following talking to Simon Sprackling, he told me he would send me a poster for the film. So I was expecting like a little tube to show up just like with uh, Nitrate here. This one's actually pretty big, so um, and then I look at the label here, it says four posters. So uh, <laughs> I got four Funny Man posters. So uh, I am really excited. We're going to use our handy dandy from Sears Craftsman Knife to dig into this. So here we go. Let's. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, one of these looks kind of aged. So I. Jeez. Oh my god. How much was in here? Damn. Okay. So I I he did, I do I did not have any pictures or anything to like show me what was coming. So let. Oh Jesus. Oh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> This is a lot bigger than I was uh, anticipating. Uh, this appears to be a full-size original. Oh, oh, Jesus! <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Let's see. <laughs> and it's uh, it's autographed there. Spread the love, Ken. We've got another one. <laughs> um, again. Spread the love, Ken. One lovers to the night. And then we've got. This appears to be uh, a more modern drawing of Funny Man. So that, that's actually a really cool poster. We got a second one of that. And, and then we've got an eight by 10 photo <laughs> of the funny man. So, damn. <laughs> I, <laughs> okay. And, <laughs> Okay, I'm even losing stuff here. Thank God I, I look. Some original film of uh, behind the scenes or photos. Yeah, geez. Original. Like funny man with some ladies. And like original like negatives. <laughs> Holy shit! Simon, <laughs> you rule! Oh my god! Okay, it's also worth noting some of this was wrapped in toilet paper. <laughs> Here we go. 
UK toilet paper <laughs> from the residence of Simon Sprackling. Jeez. <laughs> Take it.